Blender is such a powerful tool and helps me create amazing scenes, but it can be tricky to learn. Today, I wanted to highlight some tips to help you grow and improve your Blender skill set to kickstart your creativity. No matter your skill level, these tips will definitely power up your Blender workflow. Tip number one, just start. <laughs> Sometimes that's literally half the battle. When I first started with Blender, I was very intimidated by the complexity of the software. But honestly, if you just get going little by little, you'll slowly get the hang of things and be able to just vibe. Start small and just try to get familiar with the software. Even if you spend just a couple minutes per day navigating around the 3D viewport or experimenting with some of the tools, it'll go a long way. Tip number two, experiment with everything. You don't know what you'll truly gravitate towards until you just play around. There's so much you can do with Blender, and sometimes I feel like I barely scratch the surface of what's possible. I've made little movie poster travel posters out of my renders. I've worked on all kinds of different little cartoonish type animations. You know, of course, done some environmental animations and design throughout the year. And I've just kind of experimented around with different features like 360 or texturing things in Blender that really just have unlocked so many new worlds for me that I didn't know existed in the first place. Especially early on in your 3D practice, don't feel the need to specialize. Play around and check out all of these different features and start to develop a workflow that you really like. Tip number three, watch tutorials, but with a twist. Go beyond just what the tutorial does. Make it your own. I always encourage my viewers to experiment with their designs and put their own spin on the final project. Pause the video and try to truly understand the techniques or features being used and work to make your creation more unique. Use tutorials as a resource and not as a crutch. And what I mean by that is to use it as a place to look for help if you're stuck on something, but really take the time to truly understand what's going on and use that as a jumping off point to create your own projects in the future. It can take a bit to get to the point where you're comfortable enough with the software to just watch for comprehension and not necessarily follow for the exact one-to-one -one recreation of something. There's always so much more to learn with Blender, so keep a growth mindset as you work. Tip number four, seek out inspiration in the real world. I usually begin all my 3D projects by walking around outdoors. I take lots of pictures of my surroundings and try to take everything in. With 3D software, it's so important to work on your real world observation skills to understand how key elements of 3D like light, texture, shape, and imperfection work in the world around you. To get better with texturing, look at real objects and study their materials. What imperfections do you see? What patterns exist? To get better with lighting, channel the work of impressionist painters and visit the same location throughout the day. Observe how the lighting changes. How do shadows move across the surface? How do the materials and textures interact with direct and indirect light? To get better with composition, look at patterns in nature and the built environment and try to recreate them with Blender. One great exercise I use is to use a photo as a reference and try to exactly recreate what you see. This always helps me with composition and just is a great warm up exercise as you begin to kind of get into creating your own 3D scenes. Tip number five is to seek out inspiration from other artists. All art is inspired by something, and I often like to begin my search by looking at 3D models and categories and collections like the Scan the World, and that'll often assemble a lot of my inspiration into a mood board and start creating. With anything, don't directly copy other artists, but see what in their work inspires you with your own creations. This may be the composition or the lighting or the color palette you choose, but just take the time to observe what you see in other artwork and try to create your own. Tip number six, practice, practice, practice. With anything, you need to put in the work to get better. It's a pretty good feeling to put in lots of practice and reps and finally see results, like getting a number one victory royale with style. I mean, rendering pretty much anything you can come up with. Make Blender a daily practice if possible. I know it can be tough to find time, but like I said before, even a few minutes a day goes a long way. Try making different versions of a similar scene or experimenting with different lighting scenarios to get comfortable in Blender. Take the time to learn, and I promise you'll see results. Tip number seven, look back at your old scenes to see how far you've come. Back in college, I keep a logbook of all the work I did each day in my thesis research. It helped me look back to see what I did each day, but also helped me see the progress and sometimes backward progress I made. It put things in perspective and really showed me just how much I was actually learning with the software. I'll often revisit old scenes with fresh eyes and kind of see what changes and tweaks I can make to them with all the new stuff I've learned. And finally, tip number eight is to just have fun. Blender is a phenomenal software with so many new developments being made on a daily basis. 
If I promise you, if you take the time to really just practice and enjoy the software, you'll learn and really start to love it. I can't wait to see what you put together. Stay tuned for the next video and subscribe for more. Thank you so much.